guys welcome to lali said we have and it's been a while since i uploaded a video it's been a very very long time well i'm back again with more educative videos so make sure you hit that notification button so anytime i drop a video you'll be the first to watch and if you've not subscribed if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe hit the like button and do share your thoughts all right so for today we are going to learn something very educative and something most researchers um, often use um, in the undergrad level masters and phd and almost it is used um, across every um, most institutions so today we are going to learn how to convert um, databases like excel or um, google google forms to spss so if you don't know what spss means spss simply means statistical package for the social sciences so you can go back to my previous videos on introduction to spss and how to use spss and um, if you are new to this channel it gives you the basics of spss how to convert um how to analyze um a questionnaire how to input it and then some of the tools and spss so for today we are going to learn how we can convert um, databases from our google forms to spss and also from excel to spss so um, let's get started so let's start with the google forms so you have um, forms or you have a questionnaire you have coded in google forms and you want to code them or you want to analyze them in spss it is very easy to use and google form also provides some um, ways of analyzing the data graphically so you could see here it has the data so based on the response everything is answered so you have a bar chart or a graph you can easily copy and then paste and use it our SPSS gives you a more um, enhanced um, features so you can interpret SPSS can help you interpret and these values it can give you some mathematical um, things you need like the mean mode the standard deviation the bar chart the graphs and the chi-square the correlations the spearman's rank the um, contingency table and everything so it's de it depends on the quantitative analysis um, you want. So to do that, once you have your questions, um, the response ready, if you've coded your questions in um, Google Forms, you can just come to link sheets. So create a new spreadsheet. So it's going to create a spreadsheet for us. So you can see here, it has a timestamp and everything. So it has transferred everything to Excel for us. So what we have to do is you can just save it and then analyze it somewhere. So you can just come to um, the files. Then you click on download. Then you select Excel, Microsoft Excel. So the menu is going to appear, then you save the data. So you see, then you can rename it and then um, save it how you want to save it. All right, so after saving it, um, you can go to your Excel sheet. So I already have a database in Excel. So we can go to our Excel sheet. So I have a database here. So you see if you transfer it, you're going to get something like this. And you know, you want to analyze this um, information in SPSS. It is very easy to use and very, very um, convenient in SPSS. So let's open our SPSS tool. So this is the interface of the SPSS. We have the data view and then we have the variable view. So we'll start by coming to the file section. 
So when you go to the file, you just come to um, open and come to data. Then you select them um, where you've saved your file. So in this case, you can take a step back. So I saved mine on desktop. Then so you see because the file type in the file type is in SPSS, it is not going to show here. So what you need to do is to come here and then click on this arrow and select Excel. So you see, once you select Excel, um, the file is able to recognize SPSS, so it's going to appear here. Then you select um, the file type, double click, and automatically it's going to convert everything um, for you. So there's no need coming back to um, code everything. So just click on OK. OK. So this is the information we have in Excel, what we have here. So we've transferred this to SPSS so we can analyze um, all these informations. So it is very, very easy to use. OK, so once you're done, you can just um, come to your variable view and then you see your variable. So you can edit some of the features you want. So if you want to delete the timestamp, probably you don't need it. You can just um, select it and just click on delete. And then it's going to um, move away or you can just come to your data view, select the timestamp, click on delete and it's going to um, clear off. You can come back to our variable view so you could see the timestamp is um, no longer there. So you can also change this. So um, the age section is numeric. So you've seen it has been made numeric. So assuming you have um, this, and what is your age or what is your gender and then you yours is in um, numerics you can also come and then change it um, to whatever you want yeah so once you are done coding it you can just come and then um, change the type of um, data you want then once you're done you can just come to analyze then come to descriptive and um, statistics so probably you want um, frequency, you want the frequency, or you want a descriptive, you want to use the explore, or you want the cross tabulations, you want the ratio, you want the PP plot, anyone you want to use, you can do it. So probably you want to generate a frequency, so you can just click on it, then the age. Then you come to statistics and you can select the mode, everything you want. You can select the standard deviation. You can click on continue. Then you come to chart. You select whether I want a bar, pie, or histogram. So in this case, you want a bar chart. Then the chart value is whether I want it in frequencies or in percentages. So depending on what you like, you can just select any, then click on OK. Then Click on OK. And it's going to give you a table and then generate everything for you. So we have the mode to so the modal age here is 34 years. And then we have a missing value, which is 1. And then we have valid, which is um, 110. Then we have the standard deviation that is um, 11.911. So we have the table. So this with the age and ranges, as you can see. Then it gives you the graph, the modal age. So from our table here, we realize and we have 
um, 111 um, data here minus um, the first one, so it should be 110. So that is what um, the missing value mean. So you could see the missing value is just a system generated um, variable. So you can do that by going back to your variable view. Then you come to your data view. Then you scroll down to the very last one. So you could see it's supposed to be 110. So you can just select this and then click on delete. And everything is going to clear off. Then you can go back to our analyze descriptive statistics frequencies. You have selected it. Then we click on OK, and it's going to create another data set for you. To realize here our statistics, the valid response were 110, and there are no missing values, so there are no system generated values. And then our model with a standard deviation. Then we have our table. So perfect. So you could see from the first, we had a missing value, and then it's distorted our image or our analysis so make sure you always um, check if there's a system value because the system generated values sometimes or most of times affect um, your analysis or your interpretation so guys thank you so much for watching this short video i hope you do enjoy it or you do find it educative so this is one simple way you can convert an excel file or a go sheet to SPSS for your quantitative analysis. See you in my next video. Make sure you do subscribe, share, and hit the notification button. So anytime I drop a new video, you'll be the first to watch. Bye.